Round three, exercise number one. We're moving into our new round. Alternating knees, so we're gonna do four knees on each side. What I like about this, it really trims my waist. It keeps it at that fighting level, that stage, that, I don't know, it's a full package when I look at my waist. I love it. I hope you enjoy this too. I'm gonna pivot to the side. I'm gonna draw my hands up, and I draw that knee right across the body. Again, we wanna stay away from that aerobic knee. It looks like this. I see this a lot, all right? I wanna put the pressure here, right across your waist. Just like I was going to spar and throw that kick in that chamber, all right? That's what I want you to focus on, right here. Put your hand there. Hands out to the side. One, two, three, four. Lift with your obliques. Now watch, I pivot and turn. Don't leave it open, crunch down, lift those hips up. Four, three, two, one. Then I switch. Watch how I'm gonna start speeding up. Again, breathing is so important to sparring and competition. You have to start practicing now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is my point when people work out, watch. You're already here with me. See the bounce? You are going this way, or am I drawing the knee in? So the bounce is gonna take away the focus. So again, notice I'm not bouncing. Draw it in, everyone. Draw it in. Make sure it's here, not aerobically. Again, ask your muscles to work. You'll see a huge difference. Let's repeat. One, two, three, four, turn. One, two, three, four, turn. One, two, three, four. Round three, exercise number two. I know, honey, you're not gonna like this one. Why? So many of my clients say, I don't like to jump. Mm. Jumping jacks, very close. We're gonna do a low jack for those that don't like to jump. And for those who want those legs of steel and the heart as a champion, we're gonna do night jacks. Are you ready? Okay, let's go through it slow. Very simple. Hands are up, or you can start down low, all right? I'm gonna take a step out open my arms and squat. And then I come back up, feet together. I gotta repeat on the other side. Up and down. What if again my knees and my legs are sore? Guess what? You only go halfway. Again, choose to do what's best for you, but don't choose to be lazy, okay? This is the one I want you to work up to. Maybe not now, maybe not this week, but maybe at the end of our three months, you can perform this one because you're gonna be strong enough. Not even your body's strong enough, mentally, Super tough, okay? Let's go for it. Knife jacks. So I'm gonna open my legs. I drop down. Notice I'm not leaning forward, my hands are up. Take my hands, I go in behind. I'm going to jump, put my legs together. Come up. Now you repeat. Up, this is just like sparring. When I come in, when I spar, pop, my legs come in quick. So watch that move again, ready? We're gonna go down. Pop, 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 pop. If you don't like your legs, exercise. Round three, exercise number three, it's not going to be your favorite. I'm going to say it, it's a bad word, but I want you to listen to me. Push-ups. I know this for a fact because my clients do not like this word. They think, oh, I'm going to get big, I'm going to get bulky, but no, there's a way to do it. Again, I like push-ups because not only is it for your arms and your chest, depending on how you do it, it's for your stomach. It actually shows me what type of core you have. So let's do it together. Let me show you the number one way that I see a push-up being done. And maybe you can ask somebody who's with you at home to take a look to see if you're doing it. Because it's kind of one of the cutest ways that somebody can do a push-up. All right, you have your hands here, they have their bum out, and they press down and they come up. Have you seen that type? It's one of the cutest things. All right, we're not gonna do that one unless you wanna do it, but let's do it this way. My hands apart. What if you don't have enough strength? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go back to my knees, but we can't put our bum out like this. We're not taking pictures, all right? I'm gonna get my hips down, chest out, and also gonna push that juicy part of my arm out, just to get my stomach in. Put my chest out. Notice I'm not curving, my hips are under. I'm gonna go down. I want my chest in between my hands. I'm gonna push up. Now again, keep practicing that breathing. I tell everybody to breathe. So I'm gonna go down, in. How do you graduate? Well, you don't graduate into this one. All right, as I'm from here, watch what I do. I put my toes down, and I just raise my knees. Again, my hips still under, my chest still out. I'm gonna go down again. I'm gonna kiss the floor. No, I'm not. 
I'm gonna go down and I squeeze up. I'm gonna go down and squeeze up. Again, every time you do this push up, you have to make sure that you either touch your nose to the floor or you're coming down at the same level. Don't cheat yourself. Here's another good tip, watch. What if I can't go all the way down and I wanna to try to be that athlete from here? Start halfway and push up. If I'm on my knees, halfway, push up. How do I know I'm getting better? Because I'm kissing the floor every time I go down. Listen to that stomach. You'll feel your stomach kind of tuck in and under. I'm already sweating. That's what push-ups do. They make your muscles work for you. Round three, exercise number four. Run and punch. No, you're not gonna run and punch your way out of this one, okay? Running on the spot and we're gonna add those punches. Why do I like this exercise? Do you notice how I put it at the end of one, two, three, and four? Because I did a strength move and I'm gonna pop back up and I'm gonna spar, like I'm running. Okay, I'm sparring, I'm running, okay? We're gonna put it together. So, I like this one because it's using my legs and my arms at the same time. So I'm using all my limbs. So from here, high knees, I'm gonna start off. Now again, this is a cool thing. I start my knees here, watch. Okay, see my hands follow. My hands will follow. If I go longer, my punches go longer. I go faster, my punches go faster. It's kind of neat, eh? So again, if you're an athlete, ba 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 ba, you wanna go fast. If you're new at it, look. This is how you're gonna start. As you get better, you're gonna find yourself doing this. And you're gonna run it up. You should still be able to talk and exercise at the same time. If you can't talk and exercise, guess what? You're not breathing. We gotta breathe. Are you ready? Let's do this one. 